Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, keeping safe and keeping distance. Uh, today we're going to be doing something fun and the whole purpose behind today's project is to show you how you can do water drops without having to use flash and without having to sync the camera to the flash unit and time it all exactly with the drops etc. Uh, of course they do uh, definitely make for some uh, very interesting uh, water drop photography but that doesn't preclude you from uh, you know creating a simple setup and using that simple setup to do some water drop photography not having to synchronize your flash not having to uh, you know use any other kind of a timer type device or trigger device to do it with so let, let's just get on with it and let me just show you uh, what I have over here so the first thing I've done is I've actually taken a, just a regular pipette you can use an eyedropper you can use a medicine dropper whatever it is and I put that uh, pipette over here on uh, a Manfrotto arm uh, you can use anything you can use you know clothes pins to hold it uh, but just, just set it so that the dropper doesn't move. Uh, and as long as it can drop into the same place every time, your focus will be easy and there will be no issue with that. The next thing, let me just show you, I have a just a regular you know, white plate here with a bowl and I've got some water, which I've added a little bit of food coloring to. On the back over here, I have just a colored uh, matte paper that I've printed on created a backdrop uh, put two lights on it and you don't have to have lighter lights you can use any other LEDs if you want as long as you can get the background to be reasonably bright now why do we want the light to be bright is we want to have a pretty fast shutter speed uh, the idea is to have a shutter speed of at least well I shouldn't say at least but about 2000 one two thousandth of a second one two thousand five hundredths of a second so that's really what i have over here so i've got my shutter speed on my camera at uh you know one two thousand five hundredths of a second uh, my aperture is set to f 4.5 and yes my iso is up to 2000 but with today's cameras and the fact that you know this noise is never really an issue anymore unless you're going to some crazy high isos but at ISO 2000, uh, noise will not be an issue. So we've got the camera set up. Uh, as you can see, the next thing we're going to do is to just take uh, and visually see where the drop is going to fall. So I'm going to just make one drop come out and see where it drops. All right. So it fell right about here and I'm going to put a pencil uh, across the bowl so that I can uh, focus it. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you, let me just uh, switch over to this view and I'm going to show you uh, how I focus on that particular object which is nothing more than a pencil. So I've got it in manual focus. I'm going to bring it in as perfectly focused as I can. And there we have it. So with the focus set where it is, I can now remove the pencil, wait for the water to, to settle, and I'm going to start taking some images. But before I take the images, what have I got? I've got the camera all set up. My exposure is all set. I have a remote trigger that I'm going to be using. And in order to capture the water drops the camera is set to high speed burst mode and with this camera my high speed is about 12 frames a second um, i'm not using autofocus continuous because i'm on manual focus so there's going to be no slowing down and all i need to do is to get my water drop in position and as soon as it is in position fire the camera and let the drop fall and hopefully capture a decent water drop image. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me do it one more time. 
Water drop is at the tip. All right, now you can't really see what transpired, but if we go back and, and look at the review of the image, we should be able to see at least one or two good water drop images. So, so let's go do that. I'm going to switch back into preview mode. And there we have. That was a, the last one on the, this particular group of uh, frames. It's pretty interesting. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, not so good. So maybe it's worth giving it another shot. Let's get the water drop to the end. Now we can do another preview. Ah, two drops suspended in midair. No real collision, no, no deep crown that has been formed. Uh, to get a good crown, you actually have to have the uh, water drop coming from a much higher elevation so that the impact will create a good crown. But let's just do one more for demonstration and then uh, we'll switch to a triggered type mechanism. What I did this time was actually let out a series of drops and uh, just kept the camera into continuous burst mode uh, just to see what uh, we captured. So let's just have a look. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Now there, there is a crown. So, uh, and it's a quite a decent crown. And as you can see that the shutter speed has pretty well frozen the water. And if I were to blow this up, there we are. It's not bad at all. And yes, it, there is a little bit of noise, but uh, some of that noise is also coming from the fact that we have a printed background and I do have a few droplets that have fallen on the background. But, but that's, that's an interesting, uh, you know, droplet and an interesting crown that was formed. So the next thing you can do is, if you want, you can composite these images uh, to make some really interesting, uh, you know, water drop composites. They won't be single shots, but they'll be water drop composites. So that's what you can do without any fancy equipment, without any triggers, without any kind of a, um, you know, water drop mechanism uh, which uses solenoids to do water drops and times them perfectly. You can do this with your basic camera and some lights and, and a bowl of water. Uh, as long as you have some way to drop, uh, you know, water drops out of a pipette or a uh, eyedropper, uh, you're all fine and uh, you can have lots of fun. Now, the really interesting thing is that the more you try uh, the more images you're going to capture and the more interesting uh, images you'll get. Use different uh, colored water, use different colored water from the drops and this is what you have in the bowl. Uh, just have a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, hope, hope you can sort of practice and, and try some of this. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, set up a product that I've uh, quite enjoyed using. It's called the Myops splash. So I'm going to switch off right now, set the myop splash, and then walk you through that uh, over the course of the next few minutes.
Before we actually do the water drops, let me just show you what this uh, Myops uh, splash unit is all about. Uh, let me switch over to the top view and give you an overview of the unit. So uh, the unit basically is a control box, uh, which is Bluetooth, uh, connected to the iPhone. The app on the iPhone controls the duration of the solenoid, thereby the size of the water drop, and how long before the first water drop comes out, uh, followed by the second water drop, and so on. And you can do up to four water drops with this. Uh, in addition, you can set the duration from the beginning to when the flash will fire so that you can actually capture the freeze motion of uh, the water collision or the water crown, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to create. Um, on the side of the unit, you have a connector for the flash, a connector for your camera, the on-off switch, um, and a, an indicator light that tells you whether the unit is on or not. It, it flashes. And then you have a trigger button, which is a water drop trigger button that you can use to test um, the unit, as well as to identify where the water drop is falling in your bowl so you can set the focus correctly. So that's basically the whole unit. And what I've done is since I got when I got this unit it had no way to mount this thing and I was kind of wondering you know what what kind of uh, system does the manufacturer expect us to use with this so what I did is I got a Sunway photo um, iPhone holder which is pretty good it's all beautifully made of uh, you know good um, I think it's aircraft grade aluminum it has a base which is Arca Swiss compatible and it has a screw which you can use to tighten uh, onto your iPhone or onto this unit in particular. And uh, it has two support rods on either side which gives it a lot of good stability. So what I do is basically take this and attach it to um, a ball head and then uh, you know, set the height for it to work. Uh, based upon what it is that I'm trying to do. So that's uh, basically what this uh, unit is all about. Now instead of the uh, pipette that I had before, I have now mounted the Myops splash unit and it's basically set up in, in nearly the similar kind of form as we had before. Um, I've used the pencil to focus the camera uh, if you have a look, just gives you an idea that the pencil is in pretty sharp focus. Get back and just tweak it a little bit. All right, so we have our focus point established. And what we're going to do now is use the app on the iPhone uh, to trigger the Myop Splash unit. So let's try a few of uh, the water drops. That's a preview of what uh, was just captured. There's another one. And another. Now we can also change the direction of the light a little bit, move the flash, uh, make it at 90 degrees to the uh, water drop and as you can see you don't get a very good um, image uh, hitting the water drop at about 75 degrees and also bouncing the light back off the background makes for a more clearer kind of thing but not the best image so you can experiment and try all kinds of uh, you know directions of light uh, you know, this, this one now, I'm just going to be pointing the light to the background and it wasn't such a good drop. I think we're, we're, the timing is going a little off, so let's just modify that.
There we go. So uh, just to give you an idea as to what uh, I have for settings. The first drop is a 50 millisecond drop and the 50 milliseconds basically defines the amount of duration or the duration of when the solenoid is open for it to let out a water drop. Then I have a gap of 110 milliseconds before the second drop is released. And the second drop is also 50 milliseconds, so it's the same size as the first drop. And the idea is you want the first drop to collide with the second drop as the second drop is coming back up, bouncing back up after it hits uh, the surface of the water. And then the flash fires at 240 milliseconds, which is the time from the start to finish so that you get the impact captured on, uh, on, your, on your camera sensor. So one more shot. And it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, you can, of course, go back in and modify it. You can modify the colors. You can change uh, anything that you want. Uh, you can use different liquids. Uh, the only thing is do make sure that if you use more viscous liquids, you might have to change the size and duration uh, to suit what it is that you're trying to do. But uh, whatever it is, you know, make sure that you've got your timing right. So that's uh, for today's uh, water drop uh, episode. I hope you've enjoyed uh, what we've done here and hopefully you'll try some of this uh, yourself at home. And if you do, uh, if you create something good, just uh, drop me a line. Um, you know, I'd love to see what you've created. Uh, it would be fabulous. Also, uh, keep in mind that whatever you do as far as water drops are concerned, uh, don't use any corrosive materials, etc., because that will, um, you know, affect the myops trigger if you do decide to get one of these. Um, I'll see if I can find appropriate links. If not, uh, you know, myops, the website is exactly where you need to go to acquire this. But if there's a link on Amazon and uh, I can use it as an affiliate link, I will do that and you know, get me a few pennies each time you procure a product like this. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please do give me a thumbs up. And uh, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, now is the time to do so. Um, there's still a lot of content that's out there that needs to be created, which I will be doing. And of course, in times like this, uh, you know, something to keep both you and me occupied is always fun. So with that, uh, once again, thanks a lot. Be safe and be well. Take care.